惯。So, end of break. I think he'd like to get the cue ball on the right as we look of the table. Because from that little corner, he cuts off the left side completely. Just looking at that now, anywhere to the left of the brown as we look, there's a thin safety shot available on the bunch. So he's got the chance to get O'Sullivan in a bit of trouble here. Wilson one. That's okay. Foul and a miss. Wilson four. Foul and a miss, but Wilson has this red to go for. Good queuing required to get on a colour. Had to do a lot with the cue ball there, didn't he? And that made the pot a little bit harder and that's the last thing he needed. Yes, and as you're saying, he didn't have to play it. But I understand why he did take the opportunity himself. One. The other thing about Ronnie in this match, he's been breaking right-handed. Certainly in this session, and he's always been left-handed breaking, but his re previous matches, he was struggling actually with that. Break off left handed was not working, so I guess he's lucky to have plan B, isn't he? Seven. Most players can't just decide to play with their opposite hand. Eight. Yes, I wonder how sight right accounts for the ambidextrous O'Sullivan, that must make things a bit more complicated. Drifted a little awkwardly, Touch I think. One. Would like to have been on the red above the, the black, just to the right of it. This is tougher. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 21. And that was one of those, we were never quite sure if it was going to drop in or not off that left jaw. This is the final frame before the mid-session interval. If Karen Wilson could get his nose in front, he'd have been very pleased with what he's achieved, having trailed her into this session 5-4. I think either way, there's a lot of snooker still to be played in this match. Seven. Eight. 
tight. Sixteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Well, if Wilson can get back in front, that will certainly give Ronnie O'Sullivan something to think about. Yes, it's not an easy table, bar the three reds in the centre of it. After that, things become more difficult, but he could be a few in front by then. Twenty-nine. No room on the pink spot. Thirty-seven. As you can see, just the bottom red of the two which pots. The other one is not available. Thirty-eight. Ah, the mobile phone. It's Peggy Lee giving somebody a pretty evil stare. Could have played it a little better, that one. 44. 28 the lead, 67 left, but as you can see, the Reds not well situated for O'Sullivan to make a meaningful counter-attack if he does get a chance. 45. Now he missed the pink, he'll be glad he missed the cannon as well. <coughs> so Ronnie O'Sullivan comes to the table, 29 behind, still plenty there, but a lot of work to do to get back in this frame. Went all out for the red. Well, if he can't put it directly, Cushion first from that range should be well within his capabilities. One. Uh, just get the feeling that Ronnie's getting a little impatient. He probably needs the mid-session interval to refocus. Could be that he'll be behind. Going into it, the body language is not quite as assured as it was at the start of the session.
This is tough. Not really able to see the opening of the pocket from where he's queuing it from. It's almost a blind pocket. And that's why I missed it, I feel. Now, that's not such an easy shot to play cushion first. It's quite thin. It looks very inviting. I'm not sure it's simple, this. Up and down. Getting to the same red over the pocket. The crowd will love this if it goes in. Bit of flamboyance from O'Sullivan and the crowd duly delighted. But not the cannon he was hoping for. Seven. These are the frames that can change matches. Frames where there's not a big break made. Oh. It's a little bit loose, I thought. Playing that double in that way, there was no safety element to it whatsoever. It was almost as though O'Sullivan was carried away with the moment there. Yeah, the signs are not great. He's not played so well in this little mini session and uh, needs to get some discipline back, I would say. Karen Wilson needs both reds. So frame again is not over. Now you get the feeling that he's playing Eight. the double to the right middle. Cue ball in behind the black. Should he miss it, it'll be frame ball. Car Wilson, eight. Not one of the tougher doubles that you can play. But he didn't quite get it right. Now, can I Sullivan? Knock this red in and get back in the frame. In goes the red. How's the position? Well, it's a natural, isn't it? It was a natural to get onto the black, and that's what he needed. So, this could be a big turnaround in this frame. Obviously, getting onto the brown is not the easy part. He's a right hander, naturally. So he could play it down the cushion. The blue's not far from where the brown would be. There are reasons why he could clear up here. Ten. That's a good shot. That gives him hope of getting on the brown. Big turnaround in the offing here. If O'Sullivan can just take these. Thirteen. Oh, you couldn't have put that better with your hand. What a beautiful touch from O'Sullivan. And now Wilson will be worried. This could be the third frame of this semi-final that he should definitely have won, that he ends up losing. That was the point I was making about the blue being close to the brown. Made things easier. Wow, that is extraordinary. It's been a really curious performance, this, from O'Sullivan. At times, sublime. But he will be incandescent with rage that he's missed that one. And what a let off for Wilson, who only needs the blue. Must have resigned himself there to falling behind again. <laughs> Look where the cue ball is. I mean, he couldn't really miss pink and black. 
this then to edge in front. <laughs> well, it's getting very edgy very early, isn't it? Still a long way to go in this match. This is not an easy shot from where he's queuing. A rueful grin of sorts. Well, the left-handed shot is not really on here. Sullivan, of course, needs pink and black. Eleven. Well, this is not a certainty. He's very close to this. He's got to just line down, at the yeah, angle because these can and be two. missed. Another delicate touch required for a 7-6 lead. We've had a few eventful frames in this semi-final. That